This is Spiritual Truths Podcast Ministry, a healing, deliverance, and reconciliation ministry with your host, Pastor Tony Cooperwood. Let spiritual truths open your eyes and lead you from darkness to light and the power of Satan unto God, that you may be forgiven of your sins and inherit eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now grab your Bibles, pen and paper, and prepare your hearts to listen while Pastor Tony Cooperwood expounds on the spiritual truths from the Word of God, emphasizing the power of the word to deliver and change circumstances. The Spiritual Truths Podcast. Changing lives and restoring hope. The Spiritual Truths Podcast. Hello, my friends. Thanks for tuning in again to another episode of the Spiritual Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Pastor Tony Cooperwood. And as I tell you all the time, I promise to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me, God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you for another opportunity to gather together in your name. We thank you for blessing us with a brand new day. Father, as we study your word, we ask that you will show us those things that you will have us to know, that we might apply them to our lives. Father, we bring all of our situations and concerns to you. We lay them at your feet. We find peace and rest in you, Father, and we say have your way in our lives. Accomplish those things that you desire to accomplish. And we know that if you work in our lives, we will have everything that we need. Give us that peace that you promised that passes all understanding. Father, you have promised that if we keep our minds stayed upon you, you will give us that perfect peace. And so we come to you and I ask you to work in our lives and accomplish those things that you desire. And Father, when you do it, when we see it done, Father, even before we see it done, we will give you all the praise, honor, and glory that you so richly deserve. So, Father, even though we don't see it done at this very moment, we praise you for who you are. But we thank you for what you've already done, what you are doing right now in our lives, and what you will do in the future. We lift you up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus is Lord. I was sitting around and thinking about the podcast and the Lord said, get up and tell the people that Jesus is Lord. I don't know how long this podcast is going to last. This episode is going to last, but I want you to know the Lord wants you to know that Jesus is Lord. What does that mean? You might say, Tony, what does Jesus being Lord mean? Jesus being Lord means that he is the supreme being. He is the all that ends all. He is the beginning and the ending of all things. Jesus is the one that deserves complete and total allegiance. He is the one that deserves to be worshipped in all fullness because he is God. As we've said before on other episodes, that Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is God and he deserves all worship. He is Lord. That means as you are a believer, that means you should give your life to Jesus and you should allow him to have completely complete control of your life because he is worthy to have complete control of your lives. For he and he alone is God. And by being God, Jesus has all power. He is omnipotent. By being God, Jesus has all understanding. He omniscience. He's, and by being God, he is everywhere at the same time. He's omnipresent. Nowhere can you get out of the sight of Jesus because Jesus is God. And not only is he God, my brother and sister, the message from God to you today is that Jesus is Lord. But is he the Lord of your life? Have you given up your life? For Jesus, have you died to yourself? Have you died to your worldly desires and your flesh? Have you given your complete self to Jesus? Have you given all to Jesus, my brothers and sisters? What I'm asking you right now, have you laid yourself on the altar, on the altar as a living sacrifice to God? That is what God is looking for. Some of you are listening to me right now. You're going through some major problems and you don't know how to get out of the situation. You just know that you cry day and night. You might have a smile on your face, but deep down your heart is broken and you don't know why. And you don't know how to heal your broken heart. Well, God has sent me by to tell you that Jesus is the one that heals your broken heart. 
My brother and sister, Jesus said, come unto him, all ye that are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. Jesus will help you, but you must make him the Lord of your life. You got to move out of the center of your life. You got to get let go of your selfishness and your self-centeredness. And you got to invite Jesus to come and take complete control of your life. Jesus is Lord, my brother and sister. Whether you realize that fact or not, one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. So why not do it today? Why not go to Jesus and say, Lord Jesus, I'm broken. I'm miserable. I am a wretched, a wretched person and I don't know what to do with myself. But I heard Tony say that you are Lord. I heard Tony say that you want to be my God and you want to take complete control of my life. Well, I've made a mess of my life, but if you will take me, I will give my life to you. And so I give my life to you right now, Jesus. I turn away from all my selfishness. I turn away from all my sins. I turn away from everything that I've held dear in my life and I'm giving it to you. And I'm asking you to fix it and to fix me. Lord Jesus, become my master. Lord Jesus, become the ruler of my life. I'm making you that. I'm inviting you to become all you want to be in me. And I give all of me to you. I praise you, Lord Jesus, for receiving me. And I thank you for being my help in time of need. I thank you for being my God, my Savior, and my Lord. And from this moment forward, I will live for you forevermore. And I will tell others about you as well. Lord Jesus, have your way. I praise you and I thank you for everything that you are doing in my life. I bless your holy name. It is in Jesus' name, your name, I pray. Amen. My brother and sister, if you pray that prayer or some semblance of that prayer, you are on a road that you've never been on before. Because now the control of your life is in the hands of God, and he knows exactly where he wants to take you. He can take you straight and where you won't have all of these twists and turns, all of these ups and downs. Yes, we're going to have trials and tribulations in life, but God says that, Jesus says that, you know, even though you have those trials and tribulations in life, you need to be of good cheer, for I have overcome this world. Jesus has overcome this world, my brother and sister. And so even in the most dire situations and circumstances, Jesus will be there. He will never leave you nor forsake you because he is Lord. He is God. He controls all things. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus is Lord. That's the message for you today, my brother and sister. And the question God wants you to answer, is he Lord of your life? You need to make him Lord of your life. You need to make him Lord of your life now. Because if you don't make Jesus the Lord of your life now, one day you will die and you will stand before him. He will not be your advocate. He will not be your helper. He will not be your defender. Because you refuse to give your life to him. So he will be your judge and he will condemn you. He will sentence you to a lake of fire and brimstone where you will suffer in torment forever with no end and no hope and no God. My brother and sister, you don't have to go there. You don't have to experience anything like that. All you have to do is acknowledge that Jesus is Lord and Jesus will come and take control of your life. We're going to turn to the book of Revelation chapter 1. So if you have your Bibles handy, go ahead and turn there. And if not, you know, just write down the passage of Scripture, write down the verse, and read it later on. John, the apostle John, the one in the gospel of John, he says that he was the one that that was beloved by Jesus, the one whom Jesus loved. And so now he's on the island of Patmos. I know we've talked about this before, but I have to give you the message that God wants you to have. I had to give you the message that Jesus had placed in my heart. And he said, Tony, get up and go tell the people that I am Lord. And so I'm coming. I'm coming to you right now, wherever you are. You might be on the other side of the world from me, 
But understand that Jesus wants you to know that he is Lord. He is God. If you need help, if you're going through a difficult time, if you're worried about your future, all you need to do is acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. Maybe you're in a war-torn country listening to the podcast. What, my brother and sister, Jesus said, I know you're in a difficult situation. I know you are afraid. I know you don't know what tomorrow holds, but make me lower today and I will take care of your tomorrow. For I am God and I am God alone and I control all situations and circumstances. So all you have to do is give your life to me. Give your life to Jesus wherever you are, my brother and sister. He will take care of you. He will deliver you. He will provide for you. He will work your situation out. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Could be sickness or disease, could be marital problem, could be financial problem. Maybe you're facing a, a legal problem. Maybe you're about to go to court and might be sentenced for years in prison, but you didn't do anything. And you want a second chance and you want the truth to come out where it will be shown that you didn't do anything wrong. My brother and sister, pray to Jesus right now. Pray and ask him to come into your situation. Pray and ask him to speak a word on your behalf. Commit yourself to Jesus. Make a vow to him and say, Lord, if you turn this thing around, then I will serve you for the remainder of my life. I will turn and, and, and be righteous from this moment forward. I will depend upon you for all things. My brother and sister, if you mean that with a sincere heart, I don't care what you're facing right now. If you mean that with a sincere heart, here's a word from God for you. God is about to turn your situation around. God is about to turn your situation around. And you might say, Tony, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I can believe that. Well, I'm telling you right now, and because God has placed it on my heart, I wouldn't tell you anything that God did not place on my heart. Remember, I told you at the beginning that I promised to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. I promise to tell you the truth. That's what this podcast is all about. Spiritual truths. And this is not about me. It's all about Jesus. It's all about God. And God told me that he can work your situation out. God told me that if you surrender and you submit, he will work your situation out. And when God works your situation out, I want you to write to me. I want you to let me know what you were facing. I want you to let me know how God worked it out. And you might say, you know, I, I don't know about that. At the end of the podcast, the announcer would come and he would give you all my contact information. You write to me and you let me know how God works this thing out because I love to hear testimony. I love to hear the how God works in people's lives. I love to see the effect of the word of God. My brother and sister, I don't care what you're going through. There's power to change lives and change circumstances and give hope. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. And so at Revelation chapter one, we read these words. And today I'm reading from the King James Version. Revelation chapter one, verse number one, the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to shew unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bare record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him 
be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. And Jesus said in verse number eight, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, says the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. My brother and sister, listen to me. Listen to me clear and understand that Jesus is Lord. He's the Almighty God. He's almighty. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Whatever you're going through, know that God already knows about it. As a matter of fact, he sent me to bring you this message on this day. You could have received this message at any other day on any other day, but you receive it today. You're listening today. And it so happened you're listening to it while you're going through a difficult time and you are without hope and you think God has forgotten you. This episode proves that God hasn't forgotten you because God sent me, told me to let you know that he hasn't forgotten you, to let you know that Jesus is Lord. He's almighty. All power is in the hands of Jesus. And nothing is too hard for him. My brothers and sisters, sometimes, well, all the times when things are going wrong in our lives, we must always examine our hearts. And we must see if we are truly in the faith. A lot of times God allows difficulties and situations and circumstances to happen in our lives to get us back on track. Maybe that's what he's doing in your life. Maybe you have unrepented of sin in your life that God is concerned about. And he wants you to remove those things. He wants you to acknowledge that you are sinning and knowledge that you are not in a right relationship with him. And he wants you to turn away from your sin. Will you do it? God wants you to do it because he wants you to help you. He wants you to find favor with him, but he can't bless you while you are in your sin. You see, God is a holy God. He is pure and righteous. He is light. And in him, there is no darkness at all. So he can't do anything to violate his personhood. So he invites us or he tells us and commands us to live holy, clean lives so that when he looks down on us, he sees righteousness, not our own righteousness, but the righteousness that is found in Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ alone. And when he sees us living the way that he desires us to live, he he smiles on us. And when I'm talking about smiling on us, I'm talking about he blesses us. He gives us grace, favor that we don't deserve, favor that we can't earn. He answers our prayers and he draws a little closer to us simply because we're right with him. And so, my brother and sister, that difficult situation that you're going through might be an indication that God is trying to get your attention. And now that he has your attention, He wants to tell you that you need to turn away from the things that are not right in your life. You need to repent of all your sins and you need to place your complete and total faith in Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ alone. I'm talking to some of you who believe in some other religion. I don't care what the religion is. You know, you have another God other than Jesus Christ. God is telling you that you're not right. All the problems you see in the world is because people are godless. They are in opposition to God. They are anti-Christ. They're against Christ. And so you see in all the destruction that's going on all around the world, even in America. America is a, a, a ungodly nation. Even though we claim to be godly, we are ungodly. Even church people in America are ungodly. Masses or ungodly and masses are on their way to hell. Right here in America with churches on every corner almost. 
there are still problems in America because people are serving and worshiping God of their own making. They're not wishing the God of the Bible. And maybe you're one of those people. My brother and sister, you need to turn to the God of the Bible. You need to turn to Jesus and understand Jesus as the Bible reveals him. God gives us a revelation. He has given us the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's why we're in the book of Revelation on today to show you that Jesus is indeed Lord and that he is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the ending of all things. And Jesus himself says that he is the Lord Almighty. My brother and sister, all you need is Jesus. All you need to do is put your trust and faith in Jesus and he will bring you through. He will change your situation. He will change your circumstances. He will give you blessing for your trouble. But you need to acknowledge that he is Lord. And and you can't acknowledge that Jesus is Lord unless you have made him your Lord and Savior, which means that you have placed your trust and faith in him. If you have not placed your trust and faith in him, then you are still lost and you're still on your way to hell. But I have good news for you right now, my brother and sister. You don't have to be lost. You don't have to go to hell. All you have to do is just place your trust and faith in Jesus. And so pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I am lost and I am deserving of hell. I don't want to go to hell, so I want to put my trust and faith in you. So I'm putting my trust and faith in you. I believe that you died on the cross over 2,000 years ago and paid for the sins of the whole world. And in that, in your death on the cross is my salvation if I come to you and ask for it. I understand that you have given me salvation as a free gift. You've given it to any and everyone who is willing to acknowledge that they are a sinner and who is willing to come to you and ask you for forgiveness. So I come to you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner, and I ask you to forgive me. I ask that you save me, and in return, I will live for you. I will make you my Lord. I will make you my Savior. I give you complete reins of my life. Do with me and do in my life as you would have to be done. I trust you, Lord Jesus. I bless you, Lord Jesus, and I thank you for saving me. And I acknowledge that I don't deserve it, but that's just how good you are. Save me, Lord Jesus, and I believe that you have. And so by faith, I receive my salvation. And I thank you for doing it. I bless your holy name. It is in your name, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend. You must make Jesus the Lord of your life. You must understand that Jesus is Lord, whether you realize the fact or not. One day you will see him in all his glory, and you will understand that only Jesus is God. And you will understand that, you know, I should have put my trust and faith in him, and now I have no opportunity to do so. And now... I'm going to spend all eternity in torment. But for those of us who have placed our trust and faith in Jesus in this lifetime, while blood was still running through our veins, while we were still breathing, when we see Jesus in all his glory, in all his splendor, when we see him in all his power, we will see him as he is. And we will fall down at his feet. And we will acknowledge, my Lord, my God, my Savior. It is so good to see you. We will see him as he is. Because as he was in the world, so are we. My brother and sister, the message for you today. And for you every day is that Jesus 
is Lord. And it is Jesus who have who has all the power to change lives and change circumstances and to give you hope. We'll stop there for today. And so my brother and sister, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or do what you need to do so you won't miss the next episode of the Spiritual Truth Podcast. And as I told you before, and I'll tell you all the time, I am your host, Pastor Tony Cooperwood, and I promise to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. And if the Lord places it on your heart, send us a donation. Help us continue to get the word out. Spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world because it is Jesus and Jesus alone who changes lives and changes circumstances. Until the next time, may the Lord be with you and yours. Thanks for listening to a Spiritual Truths Podcast, a ministry of Spiritual Truths Evangelical Ministries. Visit our website blog at spiritualtruthspodcast.org. You can mail all donations and correspondence to Spiritual Truths Podcast, P.O. Box 831-472, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30083. You can give and support of this ministry via our website blog at spiritualtruthspodcast.org and at Hively at Spiritual Truths Podcast. That's T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y at Spiritual Truths Podcast. And you can also give on Cash App and PayPal at Spiritual Truths Podcast. Contact us on Facebook and Instagram at Spiritual Truths Podcast. Email us at spiritualtruthspod at gmail.com. That's spiritualtruthspod at gmail.com. You can also reach Pastor Tony Cooperwood at area code 404 551 7339. Thanks again for listening to First Step, a spiritual truths podcast. And please tune in again. You can find us anywhere you get your podcasts. And remember, all flesh is grass. The grass withers and the flowers thereof fade away, but the word of God abides forever. This is the word we preach. Tune in next time for another insightful episode of First Step, a spiritual truths podcast. And please give to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ around the world. Your support is great. Greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. Your journey starts here. God bless you and yours. The Spiritual Truths Podcast. Changing lives and restoring hope. The Spiritual Truths Podcast.